Now, if an octahedral complex uses inner d orbitals for bonding and has a hybridization of d2sp3, it will be known as an inner orbital complex. Okay, so if d2sp3 is your electronic configuration which is coming for the complex, it is going to be known as the inner orbital complex because the inner d orbitals are used for bonding. And if the inner d orbitals are used for bonding, then it will be called inner orbital complex and inner orbital complexes are also known as low spin complexes. So, if the configuration is d 2 sp 3, the complex is going to be inner orbital complex also known as a low spin complex. If the octahedral complex uses outer d orbitals for bonding, then it will be known as an outer orbital complex. That is, whenever its hybridization is sp3d2, it will be known as an outer d outer orbital complex. And the outer orbital complexes in which the outer d orbitals are used, they are also known as high spin complexes. So, if the configuration of the electronic configuration of the complex is sp3 d2, that is the hybridization is sp3 d2, then it is going to be known as outer orbital complex, which will be also known as a high spin complex. So, these terminologies are going to be used a lot that is high spin complexes and low spin complexes and we studied about high spin complexes and low spin complexes. So, let us just go back to our previous examples and see which one are high spins and which one are low spin complexes. Now, if you take a look at the first example that we did for cobalt and S3 whole 6 3 positive, the hybridization that we got was D2 sp3. So, this we can call as a inner orbital complex or a low spin complex. If we go to our next example, this is d 2 sp 3 so this is also an inner orbital complex. Then our next example was COF63 negative, this was sp 3 d 2 so this is an outer orbital complex or a high spin complex. Next, we will see how valence bond theory is applied for those with coordination number 4 also. Right now, we did for coordination number 6. So, we will see how it is applied for coordination number 4. 